video, we're going to look at how to look at to read to manage group discussions. So you'll find your groups at, at by logging into your CPS domain and looking at the black bar at the top, selecting groups. When you go to your groups, you'll see either my groups or all groups that are available. I'll click on my groups. And <clears throat> within this, um, let me select a group that I know is very active. Um, here's an active group, and you'll see that there are a number of discussions already taking place. There's the titles. This tells how many people have responded on that particular email thread and the date and so on. Now, I'm logged in as the manager or owner of the group, so I see a little bit more functionality. I can click on a particular discussion and go to more actions and it will allow me to mark these as red, to display them at the top, to lock replies if um, I feel like a particular thread is really going off topic or it's, it's finished. Um, I can lock the entire topic. I can delete a, a thread if it isn't inappropriate, or I can even ban an author um, if that needs to be. So um, many people will come to the groups to read threads around a certain discussion topic. The beauty of this as well is that it's asynchronous, meaning that not everybody has to be online at the same time to talk about something. They can pop in and send messages back to the group to um, whenever it's convenient for them. So if, if for that type of communication that lends itself well towards um, email group replies, this is perfect. Now, um, another thing that you can do is go in and create a new topic. So let's look how to do that. You, as, you, as it comes up, you'll see that you have the ability to add a subject. It'll ask you what kind of post that you want to make. You can start a discussion, or if you have permissions, as the owner does, you can make an announcement that nobody can really reply to, um, but everybody can and see it. So there's times where you may want to do one or the other. You could also um, decide to display a particular one at the top if it's very important, or to lock it, meaning that you don't want anybody else to be able to talk to about it. Notice that you can attach a file to it, add CCs, and so on, and you have a full um, editor here that allows you to do all of these familiar functions to your message. So very powerful for administrators, very powerful for teachers, and extremely powerful to use in a classroom with kids. Uh, this will help you to go much more paperless and um, to send messages and communications back out to others in the group. Simply post it there, and um, it's a great way to get um, feedback while teaching um, to test how kids are, get, are um, understanding something, kind of as a post-evaluation um, feature. Um, so many, many applications for it for administrators, teachers, and students. Thank you. Mm -hmm.